They're the best practitioners in the business. These artists and skilled laborers come from all over the world. They converge on Melbourne Park and grind it out for two weeks. We're not talking about the players, though. We speak today of the stringers. Our busiest day, we had 544 rackets come in. Sometimes we have to be here almost 22 hours out of the day. We have to stay here until the last ball is hit. The general rule is that if you're going slightly higher in tension, if what you're getting is a, a little bit more spin effect. So it allows a top player to be even more aggressive with their shot and gives them a greater margin of safety for the top spin to bring the ball down. Going softer tends to catapult the ball a bit further. So on a heavy, dampish evening, you might want that extra power that the strings will produce so you can get more depth and more control. As a tennis stringer, you develop a bit of a rapport with them as being like part of their team. They're all a bit quirky in some way or another, and the, the higher they go up the rankings, the more quirky they become. Some players have a history of sending rackets to the stringer while they're playing matches. Now, usually they, we, we get the rackets the, the night before, but changes could be made. They have the phone number to the string room. A couple of players, their coach would definitely call and change tension every 15 minutes. If you're at the very top of the game and can afford it, you can seek the equivalent of concierge service. Private stringers will set up shop, usually in a hotel suite, and follow their clients wherever they play. Pete Sampras was the guy I started this company with. He hired me one-on-one -on -one to do his racket customizing and his stringing service wherever he went. And he was notoriously finicky. The way the leather sat in his hand, if it was literally two hairs too small, he felt like it was unplayable. We worked for Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray, Roger Federer, Stan Wawrinka, John Isner. They get out on the court and rackets are too loose, they can lose a match. Sure, that only might be worth $10,000, but it also might be worth a million dollars. So what they like to do is eliminate the risk of having bad things happen. 